Very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, the women went unto the tomb, bearing spices that they might anoint him. I wonder who will roll away the stone for us. Perhaps the soldiers will. Look! They've taken it away. Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. told all that they had seen and heard to the apostles, but their words seemed to the men an idle tale, and they did not believe them. It's impossible, impossible. They don't know what they're saying. They're worn out, tired. We should never have let them go without us. The shock of finding the body stolen, the tomb empty. If it is empty. Well, they couldn't have been mistaken about that. Hardly. They've been under a great strain, grief-ridden, sleepless. They thought they heard the voice, but they must have seen the empty sepulcher. Perhaps. Well, they may have gone to a wrong tomb by mistake. Always the doubter. Is it a sin to be certain? I'll go to the tomb. I'll go with you. Alone. There's no use of endangering two men. If only what the women thought they heard could come true. Peter went alone unto the tomb. Looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves. Wondering at what had happened, he went away. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, they were together except for Thomas, who was not with them. The authorities are seeking us, they'll be guarding every gate. And all the roads to Galilee. Well, we could go one or two at a time. They go with the crowds going home from the feasts. And if one was caught, they'd comb the city till all the rest were found. Yes. No, we'll stay here until they relax their vigilance. Oh, oh I agree. I don't know. No, yes. I still think that we ought to Well, that's my suggestion. If any of you have a better plan, please be with you. Hordes of visitors left the city, and Thomas went to nearby Bethany to tell Lazarus of the apostles' plans to return to Galilee. Martha, Lazarus, a guest is coming. Welcome, Thomas, a thousand welcome. Thank you. How good to see you, my friend. My house is yours. We've been so worried about you and the others. They're in no danger? They're alive? Come, sit down. I'll get you some honeyed wine. Just a cup of cool water will be fine. Now, the others are safe and in good health. 
Except for Judas. You heard that he'd taken his own life? We heard. But why did he betray the master? Why? I don't know. None of us could guess. Thank you. More? Please. It's a hot and dusty walk from the city. Thomas. Yes? For five, six days, we've been hearing whispers, rumors that Jesus... That Jesus is not dead. That he's risen from his grave as he prophesied. Are they true? Is that what you've come to tell us? There are those who say they have seen him, spoken to him. Then it is true. I... I don't know. Well, who are the people? Where did they see him? Cleopas and his friends swear they walked with the master on the road to Emmaus. Cleopas is a man of honor. Who are the others? Peter, Andrew, all the others who've traveled with him these past three years. Jesus is alive. Does live. I was not there when he appeared to them. I... I didn't see him. But you can't doubt them. Not your friends, his disciples. All my life, since I was a small boy, I've been called skeptic, doubter. Unless I have seen or, or touched or heard for myself. I... But you saw him return life to my dead body. You heard him say that it was by the power of God. You know it was done for me. How could you doubt that it could be done for the master? I want to believe. I want to with all my heart. And yet... Thomas, come in. We've been waiting for you. Did everything go well in Bethany? Yes, I gave our farewells to Lazarus and his sisters. Told them of our plans. Good. Lazarus wanted to come back with me. You didn't let him. No, I... I told him that his name was too closely linked with the masters, that he should stay away from the city. You did well. He insists that he's coming early tomorrow, with the merchants bringing their goods to the markets. Why should he take such a risk? Yes, why? He, he cannot wait to hear from you, all of you, everything you can tell him of... of what you saw. Why wasn't he satisfied with what you told him? Surely that should be enough. Because I could only say they have seen, but I have not. But if you convinced him you know the master has risen, lives again. I could not say I know. Unless I see in his hand the prints of nails and, and place my finger in the marks of the nails and place my hand in his side, I, I will not believe. Peace be with you. Lord. Thomas. Come to me. Put your finger here. And see my hand. Put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. My Lord and my God, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish in life.